Hi guys to all zombie actions and this video I'm going to react to episode 6 of season 4 of Once Upon a Time. Let's get into it. Yo, we really have to see how she's gonna lose her mom. Remember what, father? What a fun beginning! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited right now! Oh, fuck's sake. Give it back, Kevin. The camera is Emma. Please not that Don't creepy you. freeze frame again. Okay, thank god. <laughs> That's you. You must be. 13, maybe 14. Are you missing the part where she's with the Snow Queen? Emma, you knew her before you came to Stormy Park? Apparently my run-in with her in town wasn't the only memory she erased. I think I'll be more helpful at the library. Maybe I can dig something up on the Snow Queen. I'd like to come with you, Belle, if that's okay. Maybe something about my sister will be there, too. Unless you'd rather not have the Is someone going to offer her oh, new clothes? No. <laughs> it keeps distracting me. There are creatures who can restore memories that have been lost. If we journey to them, maybe they can help me remember what happened to Mother. I can't allow you to do that. Why not? Because there's Wait. something this book doesn't Is tell. Is there really a mosquito again? What's going on? Or I can't lose you, too. But father, you heard me. Oh. Forget this nonsense. You are not to leave this chamber until the doctors say you're better. Seriously, the timing. You're ruining the show for me. Give me a sec. What did you learn? Did you discover why our parents went to the enchanted forest? Mm. What is it, Anna? What well, you're not gonna like the reason, so. Yeah. Might not I mean, want to share that. Some answers from a few people I met. My name is Ingrid. Your mother and I were sisters. You look exactly like her. But our mother doesn't have a sister. At least she never told us about one. Oh, I didn't lie. I just withheld the truth. Telling her our parents wanted to take away her magic. I just have to find the right moment. That's all. Oh, of course you heard everything. She's cleared out the vessel. There must be some kind what of clue. Now? Should we question the cow she gets her milk from? Seven-year-old boy finds baby inside like the road. Looks the Dairy Queen's been following me oh. for a long time. Are you okay? Like, does she just want Emma Powers or something? I don't know why I thought I'd find anything about Anna in it. I need to face the truth, Belle. No one here can help me, and I'm afraid that means I might never see Anna again. You will. I know it. What's no, up with you, okay. Belle? I'll be back. It's what? time for more flashbacks. Where are you going? There's something I, I need to take care of. You're gonna have to forget about me. And find a way to fall in love with your wife again. You and I both know to get what you want, you need one thing that I have, and you are sorely lacking. You will get there. Until you get that, I have a warning for you. Stay out of my way. Don't worry, Anna. I'll find you. The fuck, Belle? Like, is she trapped into ice because of you? And now you're going to do something about it a little bit late? Why do you have such a thing? I sort of stole it from an evil sorcerer when I was back in the Enchanted Forest. Yeah, which, which one? I went to him to help with my sister. You should name him. But things didn't exactly go according to plan. I'd really rather really not get into it. The no, say his name. I just pray you never cross because. Of oh. <laughs> I really. Awkward. Really, didn't want to do this. <laughs> Awkward. So, are you going to reveal us oh, at the real dagger? I that dagger because I trusted you. Oh God, this, this is because I thought mm. you would never want to control mm. me. Take me to the Snow Queen. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. This crazy woman has a whole file of my old art projects and essays. Just like the one I have for Henry. You don't keep stuff like this unless you care about someone. Perhaps the Snow Queen wasn't simply using you, perhaps she'd grown fond of you over time. So what? She was like a family of only people with powers or something? Thanks for being the family I never had, love Emma. You stay here as look out. <laughs> oh my god. About, you're not gonna know long. I won't be long, I just need to find what could you possibly want from the Snow Queen's cave? A hat. 
Oh, the hat you have? <laughs> this is getting better and better. Take this to the place where you lost your memory. Then brew a tea with the stone in the kettle. When you drink it, your memories will return. Thank you. Actually, she had two sisters. Two? Wait, what? Mother had two sisters. Two? That she never spoke about. Why didn't she say anything? Why didn't you say anything? Because I was sworn to secrecy. Grandpappy. That's sworn enough. You're talking about answers. it now. But then one day, Helga and Ingrid vanished. No one ever knew what happened to them. It was a tragedy the royal family wanted to forget. And they did, with my help. They were both put into urns? In yes. She can't hurt us if she doesn't have magic! <laughs> Oh, the stone! Is it gonna? It's gonna fall, right? Oh, and you, you're gonna pick the stone over Anna? That's the thing! Wow, I would have expected that from Bell. And bye. Whoa! Wait, how the? I didn't think she would like actually hit the ground. He needed someone weak, someone he could manipulate. That's not true. That's a lot of tea. He gave me this. Well, that's a fake. Do you truly believe that's real? Whoop! We have to leave. <gasps> the heck! You commanded me to keep watch. I sensed she was coming back. I came to find you and I'm glad I did. Oh my god. That's a smooth ass lie. Do you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. He just hope you would do the same for him. Yeah, when are you going to do the same, Rumpel? When are you going to do the same? Time is running out. I kept a secret from you. Especially because I know that you'd never keep one from me. Oh! Uh, mm. She stood in the path of those monsters to protect you. She kept them at bay while the guards pulled you from danger. But by the time they came to save your mother... It was too late. But if mother's death taught me anything... It's that sometimes a hero has to sacrifice everything to save the people they love. And I will do whatever I can to save our land, and I can be a hero just like Mother. And if that means summoning Rumpelstiltskin, then so be it. You know, you were wrong before. That you needed leverage to get what you want. No, that I didn't have it. I do. Where did you get that? I wish you would wear it for like at least for like a second. What? <laughs> where am I? Exactly where you belong. In a filthy prison cell? <laughs> I suppose I have to find someone else to take your place. The snow and what, you wanted to replace her with Emma? Book I found in the library. And this is Helga, my other aunt. What the hell? Look at this one, she looks just like you. Maybe that's why she was so obsessed with you. This scroll, the writing is runic, it's a prophecy, it says... Another prophecy? The name of the savior is Emma. She knew? And the savior shall become Ingrid's sister. What? What does that mean? I've been keeping a secret. We have to be careful she's not gonna there. freeze the whole town. She me once. The Snow Queen has a mirror imbued with terrible magic that can do Things. Mira, easy enough. Let's just go smash it. <laughs> it's not that simple. Rumpel told me it's part of an awful spell. The spell of shattered sight. She wants it to be just the three of us. Her perfect family. Alright, this was episode 6 of season 4 of Once for the Time. And I first want to emphasize that I'm simply... Just sharing my opinion. Definitely not saying that I'm an expert. Because <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not saying I'm a good reviewer. Mm -hmm. So, 
I can only share my honest opinion based on just watching an episode, you know, having it just watched for the first time. Uh, not really having a lot of time to process it. You know, things can change. Who knows how I will feel next week. So again, I'm just telling you my opinion. I definitely not say it's a fact. Um, so with that out of the way, I was not really a fan of this episode, to be honest. I thought it was pretty okay. There were some weird moments was like, huh? Like, just for me. I'm not saying it is, but just for me. And then the twist, the reveal. Like, I don't know how to say it other than... I'm pretty disappointed. I'm a little bit like, wait, that's what we're doing? Is the Snow Queen wants to replace her sister with Emma. Based on some kind of prophecy. You're telling me there's a prophecy about the savior be being the what? I wouldn't be surprised if it will be like another twist that it's some kind of fake ass prophecy. Maybe someone tried to convince her it's a prophecy for some reason. I have no idea. I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised. I I don't know. I've, it feels kind of anticlimactic to me. I'm like, okay. Maybe, you know, to be fair, we had a lot of twists in the show. A lot of twists. Like, this show is so addicted to twists and parallels. It's not that weird that after a while, you know, it will be harder and harder to top. But this is it? Again, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe they will do something else. But yeah, I definitely feel... I don't know, it was definitely very underwhelming to me. I'm I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. Um Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I did like it we get to see Belle's mom. Of course I would have loved if we got to see her under better circumstances. Um but yeah, Belle blacked out. She did didn't remember she didn't remember how her mom died and her dad didn't want to tell her. He thought it would hurt her more. Which you know, uh I can see why he would think that, but definitely not the right way to go about it. Um, and definitely not with shouting. So Belle goes to Arendelle, you know, trying to find a way to regain her memories. And there we find out that she did indeed, you know, met uh, Anna. And not just met her, she also knows what happened to her. You know, she knows about her disappearance, which has been a mystery from the start of the season. Um, so that, you know, that's all good. But then I'm still a little bit confused about the fact that she deadass chose a rock over saving Anna. Like, <laughs> I know that this is Belle from a long time ago. It's not the Belle that we're seeing right now. But I still have a hard time believing this. <laughs> Maybe I don't have a grip of the character. Maybe you guys are like shouting at me like you just don't get it, Marley. And that that's your right. That's your right. Um But I just I just can't deny that I have a really hard time believing that. Um I don't know. I just she knew that her dad knew about her Bob. Did she really think like, oh, it's uh, there is no other way I'm ever going to find out what happened to my mom, who is already dead. So let's just you know, this kind stranger who did who really helped me out to, you know, let's just let her fall to her death. From such an enormous distance. I don't, I'm just very confused. I'm very confused with that scene. Maybe, maybe if I read comments, I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm just being a dumb shit. But at the moment, I'm, I don't get it. So yeah, she, she wanted to get the memory rock, but the memory rock still fell. And then Anna fell, and somehow Anna isn't isn't dead? Like, how is- How wasn't she dead? Like, how wasn't she dead? Wasn't it pretty high? Did she legit fall on her head? How is she not dead? Like, and was she dead? It's a so Snow Queen, like, reviver? Just a spider? Just a, like, yeah, I saved your life, but now you're gonna water the cell, and we're gonna- You're not necessary? I- And then also- 
later on we have um Rumpel and um and Belle. You know, Belle is confessing to him that she did know that she did went to Arendelle and that she also know about Anna and how she disappeared. And I, I think she said something like, you know, you could never keep keep secrets, uh, keep a secret for me or something. And I was again like, what are you talking about, Belle? Like, have you forgotten who Rumpel is? <laughs> you really, Rumpel, who you know, multiple times she asked him like, hey, let's not do that. Promise me you won't do that. And then he just he does just that, and he's like, yeah, no, I didn't literally did that thing. I like find a work. I found a work around so it doesn't count. What are you talking about? Of course, Rumpel would keep secrets from you. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck, Bell? You know, again, maybe I'm just sprouting nonsense, but I'm just sharing my initial thoughts. I'm sorry if that annoys you. I'm just, I don't know. It's, it's also for me to look back on, you know? Trust me, a lot of times when I'm editing my reaction, I'm also like, what the fuck's wrong with you, Marley? Or like, how the hell did you not get that? Trust me. Um... But what I do have to say, what was what was my, you know, I don't want just I don't want to just be negative because I did say it was an okay episode. I didn't say it was a bad episode. My my favorite moment was definitely I think you can can uh, guess that my favorite moment is definitely when Bell was using the dagger against him. <laughs> you know, he really didn't want to let her go to the to the Snow Queen. She wanted him to him to come with her. That's smart. She knows that, hey, he's he's pretty powerful, you know, to say the least. He can protect me, hopefully, against the Snow Queen. So I get that she wants him to come with her, but he really didn't want to. And she did us like, you know, oh, I, even though you don't want to, I'm going to force her. Like, what the fuck, Bell? <laughs> Again, what the fuck? But then she wants to use the dagger, and I just had to laugh. Like, I don't know, I really love that more, but like, for fuck's sake... Rumpel really doesn't want to go, but now he has to go, because if he doesn't go, then she knows the dagger is fake. Fake. Fake as hell. That's... <laughs> I don't know, I really, really love that scene. That that That's my... That's definitely my favorite scene of this episode. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Yeah, that's definitely my favorite scene. Um, but yeah, their relationship, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of rocky. It's kind of rocky. Um, I'm sure that they will work it out eventually. But, you know, she did, I guess, at some point confess. And she also confessed to to Elsa now. So that's also good. Thank you, Belle. Um, but I I don't really see Rumpel voluntarily telling her about the fake dagger thing. And not even, you know, thinking about switching the daggers back. He's just full on doing his thing with the fab head. You know. Um... He has his leverage now, but I would be worried, you know, about the Snow Queen trying to get the head in her possession. Um, honestly, I'm surprised. You know, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't even use it on her already. Why not? Does he really want her to make a deal with him for what? Just take the powers, Wimple. <laughs> Just take the powers. Um. Speaking of the powers, so yeah, um, we had to reveal, but she also, she's, it's not just like, oh, I want to replace my lost sister with Emma. The way she wants to do that is to uh, use this spell of shattered, shattered something, anyways, the mirror, so that everyone in the town will turn against each other and they will destroy each other. So then there's no one left, I guess, except, you know, the Snow Queen, Elsa, and Emma. Does she think if they lost everyone that they're just gonna be like, oh, now we can be a happy fam? Like, how do you think that's gonna work exactly? <laughs> what? I'm not sure. Maybe she's, I don't know. Maybe she first wants to get rid of them and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna do yet again a memory removal spell so that they can't be mad at me and we can just have the whole town for ourselves and... Make a very big ice castle, but why then not? Why then not just I don't know, kidnap them, remove the memories, and you can still have their lives. Why not do it that uh, that way? But I guess maybe she's scared she would do that that they would find them and stop them. Not sure. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, uh, maybe I'm a little bit too hard on the episode. I think it's not. 
just a case of oh the episode you know was okayish. I think it was more that you know because this episode has I guess the privilege of having this reveal. Um, the reveal that I'm underwhelmed by that. That's why I kind of was like oh. I think if I wouldn't have had the reveal, it would have been less harder. Although I'm still confused with the bell situation. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I do have to skip points. I, I demanded answers. You know, last episode was like, I really hope we're going to get some solid answers. And I had a feeling we we're going to have it in this one. And I did get that. So, okay, I do have to give props to that. Like, thanks for the answers. I'm not happy with the answers, but I did get answers. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I think, you know... Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I have to say, um, you know, we we do still have the Fantasia thing going on with with the with the hat, the magical hat that Rumple has. So I'm definitely still very excited about that. I'm also still very intrigued towards towards finding the uh, you know, the author of the storybook. So there's still a lot of things um going on in this season. I'm just at this point, I would say that I'm. Hoping that we're going to focus more on those elements. I mean, not immediately, of course. Uh, but yeah, I I don't know. I'm, I'm Maybe they will find a way to make me more interested again into the Snow Queen thing. But at this moment, I'm kind of like, meh. We'll see. We'll see. You know, we, we do have to remember, you know, that I think a majority, a majority, uh, at least... You know, uh, based on the comments, a majority really, really, really likes season three. A lot of people always also think it's like the best season or at least their favorite season. And I also really thought it was a very good season. So maybe, you know, that's also doesn't help. And I recently finished that season and then I'm seeing this. And of course, you can't help but compare. Um, so I think that's why I'm a little bit harder because I really thought... The pacing was quite good in season three, and I liked both halves. You know, I did like the first half more than the second half, but I still think both were quite solid. Um, and now, you know, I know it's only episode six, uh, but I remember the season three being more pumped, being more like, oh, like okay, we're doing this, and now I'm a little bit like, oh, we're doing this and that, and oh, we're, yeah, we're also doing that. Kind of understanding what I'm saying? I don't know, but again, again, um. Everyone can have their own opinion, so definitely don't feel bad if you're totally pumped about these episodes. You're like, I don't see the problem, I think it's lit. You know, don't let me wound the excitement. Uh, you know, I'm, I like it when we have different opinions. As long as we're all respectful about it. Okay, that's the end of my rambling. Why am I always rambling for such a long time whenever I'm tired? Goodbye, guys, and have a good day.